creating speed measurements in iTrain. We need to choose three detectable sections to do this. So I'm going to use these three detectors here. This middle one is 31 centimetres and then these two outside ones, it's irrelevant what the lengths are. It uses them as a start and a stop or a stop and a start, whichever way around you want to look at it. So you go to view, speed measurement, locomotive. Now in here you have the type of the speed measurement you want to do, how you want to do it. So device, if you had something like an LS Digital uh, rail speed, you would need that. Two feedbacks or centre feedback with two sides. So that's the one we're going to use. So we then have to choose the sensors. So you take the address of the feedbacks. So this one is 39. This one is feedback 38. So just find it in the list, 38. And I've then got 37. 37, so just find it in the list. 37, if you can see, 37. You'll notice that automatically it picks up the length, the center feedback in both directions of travel. This is what you would like. So if it's wrong for any reason, it shouldn't be because you've already assigned the length of the feedback. So it should pick this up correctly. Then we need to choose the loco. We're going to be doing a class 66. Uh, I've got on the layout. Uh, I've got to find it in the list. There it is, class 66. Now I have already done this um, locus speed profile, but if we clear it, this is how you would have it. If you'd never done this speed calibration for this loco, all this would be blank. Now down here it says use specific direction specific measurements. This is forward and reverse. If you don't have it ticked, it only shows you one column. I always choose this. Now in the manual, it also suggests you start at the fastest speed and go to the slowest speed. So you highlight it to fastest to slowest. The reason for this, by the time it gets down to the smaller speed steps, the motor will have warmed up, everything will be running most efficiently. So you'll get more accurate measurements at those lower speeds. So this is how we set it up, ready to do the speed measurement. We then put the loco on the block where we wanted to start, make sure it's traveling in the right direction of travel. When we then hit start down here, it will just shuttle between those places recording into this list of speed measurements. 